As we come on the air at this dinner hour, we're talking about the price of food. Maybe spaghetti is what you are making tonight, but the noodles, the beef, the cheese, they all cost more. And of course, day after day, meal after meal, that can add up. Tonight, NBC 26's Kelsey Dickinson breaks down what's causing these price hikes and offers some shopping tips. It's all part of our effort to try to help you safeguard your savings. Whether grocery shopping in store, 819 for chicken breasts. That is insane. Or online, many people have noticed the price to buy is creeping up. Within the last six months, I've become much more conscious of it. Christy Kaur buys her groceries online and is feeling the squeeze of inflation. A four pack of colored peppers, $6.99. I think it used to be, what, $2.89? maybe three forty nine, but six nine for four peppers. That is crazy. If you want to eat healthy, they're they're making you pay for it. The overall cost to buy groceries has gone up six and a half percent from a year ago. We're seeing notable price hikes in meats at nearly 15 percent. Drinks like pop and tea are up more than five percent, while the cost of fruits and veggies has increased five percent. But there is some better news for us here in the dairy state as dairy products have the smallest increase at just over one and a half percent. Inventory, products, workforce, uh, it's, that has all culminated to put us in the situation we are in today. Wisconsin Grocers Association President Brandon Scholl says fewer people working in the industry has delayed shipping, causing less product on the shelves, which, because of supply and demand, has raised prices. Those are all challenges every week that, that grocers have to try and figure out how they can satisfy their customers. At the local market in the town of Stiles. A little over six months ago, the prices to us have increased constantly. Owner Lori Dufek says costs to the store go up at least 10%, sometimes as high as 40% every other week. Since we opened, there are some items that have doubled in price um, to us um, through that time. Although prices are higher, the local market is eating a portion of its profits to keep costs low to consumers. Prices are going up everywhere, so we hope that the convenience of being local and possibly buying things that are locally made will be important enough to continue to purchase. So what can you do to save your hard earned money? Christy Korb says she only buys what she needs so food isn't wasted. So I'm much more intentional with my spending due to the price increase. Experts also say to be on the lookout for cheaper product substitutions, shop the sales and go into the store with a list, but be prepared to shift if products are out of your budget. Kelsey Dickinson, NBC 26. Inflation is running hot in many industries right now, and we want to help. To see more ways to safeguard your savings when buying groceries, cars, even a boat, scan the QR code right there on your screen and you'll see a complete list of stories.